Yo, I can't even make it up, man. First time for everything. You already know I got tons of Jordan 1s, right? Look at that. Got the wide angle on. And um, I was looking for a pair of shoes. I already know what shoe I wanted. I know the colorway, the color code rather. And as soon as I sat down, I found it like ASAP. I didn't look at no other shoe, man. Bullseye. Boom. We're rocking these today. Peep the label. Let's go, you got the all feet, man. We got the Justin Timberlake. What's poppin' on the boyfriend? Right? Get back in the building. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, man. I had to re record this. How? Man, look at the glitter on these joints, man. Y'all already, already know the glitter, right? The feature that Jordan 1s comes with. Like all Jordan 1s in the past have them, man. Look at that. I can't remember the last time I rocked these. Man, but they got the glitter all over them, man. I'm not even going to clean them. I think I'm just going to throw them off feet. Look at the outsole, man. Pristine. Pristine. Yeah, let's talk about these. Let's talk about these shoes. Let's talk about them. Here we go. This is the Air Jordan 1 High OG, the Yang and the Yang. Now, this shoe dropped alongside the all-white pair. They dropped August 6, 2016. So that makes this shoe going on five years old this year, 2021. Now, I didn't get this shoe day one, meaning I did not pay retail gain. I didn't pay the 160, but I did pay 129 with additional discounts. I think it was like 20, 20 30, 40% off. A homie from Cross Country got it for me. Uh, she had connections and she know I love the Air Jordan 1, so she bought both pairs, the white and the black. I believe the black is the Yang and the white is the Yang. Um, the white pair is in the closet. I'm not going to bring that out. But I just want to show you guys this shoe. Not only did I get this shoe below, 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 below Bro, retail, I also it. found it in a Nike outlet for a dirt cheap price. How much? The price I'm about to tell you, you guys may not believe me, so I'm going to link a card up here. This guy. And watch that video. I found these for $34. And I want to say they had additional discounts. And on top of that, back then, Nike was giving you additional $5 or $10, depends. I can't remember. If I use a $5 additional coupon or a $10 additional coupon, but if you fill out a survey, you get $5 towards your next purchase. They're no longer doing that. So I'm just giving you how I was able to get this shoe for $24. Yes, $24. Again, trust but verify, watch the card I put up here. I may even do a, a repost or re, yeah, repost that video sometime in the future so you guys can see that video in the present time. But anyways, man, Air Jordan, Yang and Yang, all black joint hardly wear this shoe it did came with that glitter effect that happens when you sit your shoes in the in the closet or matter of fact it could be in the drop top front cases with a whole bunch of air conditioning air circling through the whole entire shoe your whole room could be ventilated it could be next to a Facts. window it doesn't matter that lying. glitter effect would still occur on your shoes anyways i wipe it down throw them on feet and y'all see a little bit of b-roll love this shoe had it in the collection for a long time but i do not wear it as Got often so i had to, to wear bust your it out shoes. and show some love it also came with an extra set of laces the white laces which i did not put in the shoe this is a spontaneous video where I'm just piecing a lot of clips together. So enjoy this vlog as in its entirety. Hope you guys like it. Something new, something different. Trying to change up the whole format for the New Year's. Not really, but I want to add a little sprinkle into something different. All right, I'll see you on the next scene. Peace. Yo, I'm out here stupid late. Just going to return something real quick. <laughs> I bought this uh, last week. And um, then I went to a clearance store and I found it a lot cheaper. So... There's no need to have this piece. So, keep these Air Max 98s, bro. Come in this bag. Y'all remember this? This came out last year, I want to say 2020. Or maybe probably older than that, 2019. Um, pretty much this is like this white. That's how the original looks. And then when you distress them, they look like this. This is what they look after before after now you don't gotta do this man you can just take them out the bag and rock them like this but unfortunately the only women's women's air max 98 lx they're only going for 90 beans too not bad price and these jordans are some women uh og i do remember when jordan started promoting this man i like the colors mostly blue all white multiple sizes again all women 100 beans yo peep this 
Now, this is not the first time I've seen these uh, Ray Guns Air Rays in the finish line. I saw this several weeks before it came out. Those link kid sizes in the more millennia. Jeff and Floyd, I know where that's at. But nevertheless, man, they have them here still sitting on shelves. And I believe these sold out on sneakers at, and these are adult pairs. This one particular, I'm not sure what size it is, but they got like a few of them, man. Look at that. Four rows of these joints. Four rows of these Air Rays. My first basketball shoot ever. But the OG uh, colorway is the one I originally got, though. They're hitting for 140, man. Or 145. That's crazy. But anyways, man. Ray Guns Air Raids. And look. They also got the Air Force One Lows in this joint. They're going for $110, though, man. Again, this is Finish Line at the Premium Outlet in Orlando. Off of International Drive. Black Outsole. They look cool, though, man. I won't wear them, though. I would not wear them. Yo, peep this, yo. So I just left uh, finish line and I had these Air Race Ray, uh, Ray Guns. And here's the OG one I told y'all about, man, which I purchased at the finish line that we just left. I popped them from there. But this is the OG, it's the first pair of basketball shoes I ever owned. This is the hype version of it. There you go, both of them in the same picture, y'all. Anyways, let me know who picked this up. Let me know. Why did you pick them up? By the way, is it the collab, the hype? Is it Teresa? Let me know. Not only do they got the Air Rays, they also got the Air Force One lows as well. Ray Bands. Again, I'm not a fan of this. The same price here as it is in the finish line. And this music is crazy loud. Okay. Air Force One all red joint. Not mad at it. Same price, 110. And then you got the mids, black and white. Man, let's walk in Adidas, man. It's been a minute since I've been to this Adidas. I might just do the vlog in here. Let's see. Hi, uh -huh. what's up, y'all? I'm good, I'm good. So, let's take a quick look at the basketball section. Damn, we didn't even make it to the basketball sections, man. We got these Ultra Boost DNA Parleys. I like that colorway, 119. They also got another version right here. It's like it's green, black, 419 as well. Uh, no additional discount so far. And I haven't seen these joints before, but look, I got boost, man, and chunks. The Climate Cool Vento, 40% off of it. So that's 140 minus 40%. What are these, man? It's a hue, like Pharrell, Pharrell William, PW0260 BOF. That's what the BOS stands for, Boston, maybe? 40% off of it. I did one for 160. I like this colorway, but I'm not sure what shoe this is, man. Look at the hiking shoe. Marathon, free hikers. Ooh, damn good. 230 for 40% off? That's crazy. They tripping. What else? We're passing. More Pharrell's Pro Boost Lows. Oh, this is a next level 2020, so it's also a basketball shoe right here. Oh, I like this top 10 right here, man. Oh, black shoe and the suede and it's going for 80 without 40 off got that gum bottom i like it i like it that's dope how many y'all rock this man or it's just me is it just me maybe it's just me i believe that's dope also peep this color man this is like a i don't even know tan maybe what color are they call them this sand black it's cool 70 with additional 40 percent off yo it's so dark out here man so sorry about the horrible footage i decided to do this at the last minute pull up to the nike outlet and i'm showing you guys snippets of what i'm seeing but anyways man i got my gucci frames on and we about to go and shoot palace and we'll wrap it up you know what i mean shoe palace let's see what's popping inside Bro, it's like a club in here, man. It's so loud in here, bro. I don't even know if y'all can hear me. But anyways, this is the Jordan Wall. Nothing popping over here. So we can move our times over to like the Nike basketball. So I'm in the basketball aisle. Uh, I'm crazy. I sound crazy. I'm in the section, basketball section. Uh, this is Shoe Palace at the Nike Outlet Premium Plaza off of International Drive. I don't see nothing really sticking out, man. A whole bunch of Kyrie's, a whole bunch of LeBron, KD's. You know what I'm saying? These joints right here. I'm probably going to get uh, copyright because it is loud behind music. So that's why I'm constantly talking and I will not stop until I turn this camera off. I don't think there's anything more to show. And we're back in the sneaker office, man. I got something to show you guys, man. I'm actually excited about this package, man. You see it here, just theft me tape, nothing's changed, but this is not a shoe. You guys may or may not know what this is based on the dimension of the package. Quick story, I already unboxed it, but my B-roll camera did not record, so I'm doing this all over again, man. Without further ado, let's get into this package. And here we go. This is the Virgil Abloh book icon. Y'all see it in that lime green colorway with the drawn on swoosh. I don't even think that's a trademark swoosh of Nike, man. It looks so scripted, like doesn't look, you know, authentic. But, you know, that's the play on the design of the book. But anyways, man, the first thing I noticed besides a crazy color, and this is probably the biggest flaw, at least for my book, peep this. As I opened the book, y'all heard that? And look at that, bro. The binding unglued. Y'all hear that? You hear that? The binding unglued, man. So that was like, bro, how can y'all send me this? 
How dare you, <laughs> Nike? Can we fix this? Can we get this together? Now, quick disclaimer, I did not win this book. My wife did. I believe this book roughly cost around 70 something dollars. Whenever it came out, Wednesday, Thursday, it came in the middle of the day. Now, it was downstairs probably no longer than 30 minutes. So I know the sun wasn't beating on it. But anyways, man, I wanna bring y'all guys down. That's not your problem, that's my problem. That's something I have to take care of. But let's move past that, right? As soon as you open this book, the first shoe in here that I noticed was the blazer. That was the blazer. Now, I don't remember or if that was the first off-white shoe Virgil ever made. I want to say the Air Jordan 1s was the first shoe that was released, but the blazer being the first shoe actually on the list. I can fast forward through multiple different pages and wow, look at that. They spent quite a bit of time on the blazers and boom, here we go. The Air Jordan 1 and it shows how he deconstruct the shoe and where the airbag is and all that good stuff, man. That looked like the platinum pair, the overseas pair, and the UNC blue, which is my favorite, cause that's the only pair I own of the three that release. Still have it, still DS, make appearance here shortly. I brought those in B-roll up, showing you guys that I have it. I'm excited to have this book, man. Something different, something unique. Um, he also did the Air Max 90s. He did the Prestos. Now that shoe was dope. I like that shoe. The Vapor Max. Bro, he even dabbled into Converse, bro. <laughs> that was unique. And lastly, man, with people going crazy over those um, Air Force One lows, that blue colorway, people love this shoe, man. Now, I didn't win it. Like I said, the only pair I got was the Air Jordan 1 UNC blue joints. Had them in black as well. The off-white collaboration probably has to be the most successful collaboration Jordan brand has ever done. Internally, they make great shoes, great colorways, great concepts, but I think they nailed it. The shoes that's moving forward past the 10, you can see a lot of inspiration in Jordan from those previous releases. I mean, from the writing on the side from the Air Jordan 1s where it says Beaverton, Oregon, from the zip tags, from the exposed tongue, it's so much inspiration from Virgil and his off-white collection that he did with Nike and Jordan brand that Jordan brand and Nike are still continuing that trend even though Virgil is not making and designing those shoes. Difference is, it hits different when Virgil did it because it felt authentic. When Nike did it, it just feel like it's a money grab, man. It doesn't have that same authentic feeling. Don't get me wrong, I love my Air Jordan 1s. I love to see something different, but I'm not getting the same vibe when I see it from an off-white perspective. That said, Jordan Brand, keep it up. Bring Virgil back, have him create a whole different, maybe top 20. Matter of fact, even recycle the previous shoes that he already did, man. I'm sure a lot of us will be interested to see what he does next. Now, I'm gonna take my time to comb through this book. There's a lot of stuff in here that I gotta see, comb through, read, and examine, and cause I'm just curious to see what made him come up with that concept with the exposed tongue, with the zip tags, you know, and putting the word air. I'm sure that story has been told, but now I have this book, I'm sure I can get in depth. And maybe when I read it, maybe I can regurgitate to you guys my findings and, and what I learned. Almost like a book report, but it's like a video, almost. But anyways, man, I don't want this video going way, way too long. Salute the wifey for getting this book. Appreciate you, man. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? You've been winning, I've been losing, but we still winning together. Um, let me know who copped this book as well, man. Will you pay seven, eight dollars? Especially if your book is looking like this. What's that about, Nike? We gotta talk, man. If y'all watching this, yo, hit me up. We got, you got some explaining to do. <laughs> Unacceptable. But anyways, man, comment down below. Um, if you're new to this channel, like what you just saw, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. And everyone, keep leaving your comments down below and your boy get back to you as soon as possible. Until then, until we meet again, you already know my slogan. Good to go. It's a wrap.